right guys, have you noticed this wild trend quietly taking over YouTube, helping creators rack up millions of views? This channel launched just a month ago and already has 70,000 subscribers, with videos like this one hitting over 5.2 million views. Social Blade estimates they're making $40,000 in just one month. And here's the best part. The trend is still fresh, so you've got a golden opportunity to grow fast and make serious money. Unlike all these gurus, I'll show you real step-by-step -step ways to create your first YouTube business. We'll voice over videos, find visuals, animate them with AI, and I'll even reveal a secret AI tool that does lip sync, which is the key to setting you apart from the competition. Plus, I'll show you how to optimize your video for a million views, and at the end, I'll reveal the secret to avoiding bans for nudity, something you won't find anywhere else. Stick around till the end, and you'll have everything you need to start your own YouTube automation business. I created this video in just 20 minutes to prove it's that easy. Transparency in fashion isn't just a trend, it's a statement. It's about confidence, artistry. Every step is beginner friendly. Want the tools I used? Get them for free from my PDF file on Telegram. Links in the description. Let's go. Let's create your channel. If you've done this before, skip to the prompt creation part using the timestamps in the video description. If not, here's how. Head over to YouTube and click on your profile picture. Select Switch Account and then View All Channels. Click Create New Channel and pick a username. If you don't have a name yet, go to ChatGPT and ask it to generate some channel name ideas. Once you've got the perfect name, enter it into YouTube and create your channel. Next, you need to write a description for your channel. You can write it yourself, but why not ask ChatGPT for a little help? Have it craft an engaging description for our channel based on the name. Now, let's dive into adding tags, a crucial step for optimizing your channel's SEO. Tags help YouTube's algorithm understand the content of your videos and connect you with the right audience. For this step, we'll use VidIQ, an excellent tool for keyword research. If you don't have an account yet, check out the link in the description to get started. Go to the keyword research section and search for terms related to your niche, such as transparent try on haul. Aim for a mix of high and low competition keywords that are relevant to your content, including a variety of tags that directly reflect your channel's focus, will improve its discoverability and increase the chances of your videos appearing in related searches. To create a standout channel, you'll need a logo. Don't stress about making them overly complicated. Something simple and clear will work perfectly. If you're not sure where to start, ask ChatGPT to help generate a prompt for your logo. If you're subscribed to ChatGPT's Plus plan, you can even directly generate a logo there. However, I prefer using Ideogram for logo creation. Copy the prompt you've received from ChatGPT and paste it into Ideogram. Set the aspect ratio to square and hit Generate. Within a couple of minutes, you'll have a range of logos to choose from. Select the one that works best for you and upload it to your channel. To actually make money from shorts, there are a few things you need to know that most gurus won't tell you. You need 1,000 subscribers and 10 million views in 90 days. This can be a big hurdle, as it usually takes six months of consistent posting to get monetized. I've been through this myself and know how tough those first months can be when you're working for free. So, I spent some time researching ways to get around this obstacle and came across a website that sells pre-made YouTube accounts. This lets you start making money immediately from your first video, saving time. Plus, these accounts have a Western audience, so the RPM is high. I use these myself, and they work better than expected. While not necessary for success, they're a great way to start earning money from your first posts and reinvest into more shorts. Check out the link below if you're interested. Also, specially for you, with the promo code MAVICIE, you will receive a 5% discount. Anyway, now that you know how to get started faster, let's move on to creating images. I've prepared a clear and detailed prompt just for you. You can copy it from the PDF file. There's a link in the video description. Once you have it, paste the prompt into ChatGPT. It'll ask you a series of questions to figure out the atmosphere and style of your images. Take your time answering these, because your responses will shape how the images turn out. The more detailed you are, the better. If you want to save time, you can also copy my pre-written answers from the PDF file instead. Now that you have your prompts ready, let's move on to creating images. I've found this AI tool that 99% of creators don't even know about yet. Trust me, by the time they catch on, it'll be too late to compete. Plus, it's great for beginners because it has filters that make your work a lot easier. 
You'll find the link in the video description as well. Once you click it, sign up, and you'll land on the main page. Paste your prompt into the lower input field. Then, head to the settings menu in the top right corner and tweak these options. Set the size to the recommended 16 to 9 aspect ratio. Pick how many images you want to generate. Now, the most interesting part, filters. These are what ensure your image is spicy enough to grab attention, but not so much that it breaks YouTube's rules. So, go to the filters section and select Woman Realistic, along with three additional filters from the adult section. Once everything's set, hit the Generate button in the bottom right. CG Dreams tends to focus more on the body, creating curvier visuals that naturally draw viewers in. One issue I've noticed is that CG Dream sometimes generates images of women who are topless, which is something we absolutely want to avoid. This is because it violates YouTube's community guidelines, which could lead to problems on the platform. To fix this, simply add the following parameter to your prompt, no naked boobs. Make sure to include this parameter in every prompt to minimize the issue. After the images are generated, take a look and pick your favorite. Now, let's boost the quality. Just click increase the image resolution, and in a couple of seconds, you'll have a high quality version. Repeat this step for all your images, then download them. You'll need about 20 to 40 images, depending on how long you want your video to be. Once all your images are prepared, arrange them systematically by placing them in the designated project folder. Number each file sequentially to streamline access during the editing phase. Now, let's dive into animating the images. You can use any AI tool, but I'll show you how to do it using Runway. First, we need an animation prompt. Open the provided PDF and copy the second prompt listed. If you don't have ChatGPT Pro, no worries. I've found a free alternative called Poe. Navigate to Poe, select ChatGPT, and upload your first image. Then, paste the prompt you just copied. This will generate an animation prompt for the image. Next, visit Runway. Create an account or log in and click Generate Video. Upload the image you created and paste the prompt. Before proceeding, double check the resolution settings and choose the desired duration. Once ready, hit Generate to bring your image to life. After the animation is completed, review the output carefully. While Runway offers high quality results, minor refinements may be needed for consistency. Repeat the process for each image to ensure uniformity and artistic coherence. Once all animations are finalized, download each video clip individually. Note that these clips will include a watermark, but don't worry, we'll address this later during editing to ensure a clean final product. Next, let's improve the quality of the videos. Visit CapCut by following the link in the PDF file. Once you're on the website, go to Magic Tools, scroll down, and find Video Upscaler. Upload your video, and once it's uploaded, simply click Upscale and let CapCut work its magic. After it's done, click Export and then download to save the enhanced version. Repeat this process for all your videos to ensure they look polished and high quality. Save all your animations in a folder, numbering them for better organization. Now let's synchronize the lip sync, but before that, we need our voiceover. This is a very important step to avoid getting your videos banned. I'll explain this in more detail in the section, How to Bypass Video Blocking. To get started, go to the PDF file and copy the third prompts. Then, go to ChatGPT and paste the prompt there. Within a few seconds, ChatGPT will provide you with a well-structured and coherent script for your video. Now, let's voice it over. Head over to 11 Labs, click Get Started, and if you don't have an account yet, create one. Once logged in, go to Text-to-Speech in the upper left corner. On the right-hand side, you'll see Settings. First, we need to go to Voice and choose a voice for the narration. Don't rush this step because it's half of your success. 11 Labs has a large library of voices, but we need a female voice. Listen to all the options and choose the one you like the most. I personally recommend this one. Now, go back to ChatGPT, copy the script, and paste it into 11 Labs. Click Generate Speech, and within a few seconds, your voiceover will be ready. Pro tip, if you're narrating long texts, break the text into parts of 1,000 to 2,000 characters to improve the quality of the generated speech. Let's dive into the next step. Synchronizing lip movements with audio for a professional touch that makes your video stand out. To get started, open CapCut and create a new project. Import the audio file by dragging it onto the timeline and clicking the blue Geo 1 button. Listen to the section you want to synchronize and trim the audio accordingly, removing unnecessary parts. It should not exceed 5 seconds. 
Click Export at the top. Give the file a descriptive name based on the lyrics and select MP3 format. Uncheck Video, then export and save it. Next, go to the Kling AI page and navigate to the AI Videos section. Now switch to Lip Sync. Insert your video and upload the MP3 file by selecting Upload Local Dubbing. Confirm your selection, then hit Lip Sync. Let Kling AI do its magic and watch the synchronization come to life. Once the synchronization is complete, download the animation and save it in your designated folder. Be sure to label it properly for easy organization. Repeat this process for each part of the audio requiring lip syncing. And the last step before editing the video is creating the music. For this, we won't use Suno AI, but rather a secret AI tool I found specifically for you. Its advantage is that it's free and you can upload music to YouTube without worrying about copyright issues like with Suno AI. But first, let's create the style of our song. Copy the last prompt from the PDF file and paste it into ChatGPT. In just a few seconds, ChatGPT will generate several styles for your music. Choose the one you like the most. Then, follow the link in the PDF file. Once on the homepage, log in with your Google account, and you'll be taken to a simple interface. From there, click on Create. Paste the song style you copied from ChatGPT. Then, select Advanced Controls and choose the duration of your song as 210 seconds. Since we need instrumental music, set the lyric timing slider to zero. Click the blue Create button at the bottom. The tool will generate two versions of your song with the same genre. Listen carefully to both tracks and choose your favorite. Click the three small dots next to the track and select Download Audio. Now, we're ready for the final stage, assembling the complete video in CapCut. First, open a new project in CapCut. Once CapCut is open, go to the right and click on Modify. Here, name your project and set the aspect ratio to 16 to 9. Set the frame rate to 60 FPS and click Save. After adjusting the settings, drag the audio file into CapCut and click the blue plus button to add the file to the timeline. Next, we need to trim out all the unnecessary pauses. Fast-paced videos grab attention better, especially when creating short-form content. Here's how you can trim out the pauses. Locate the end of a pause in your audio track. Zoom in for precision and press Ctrl B. Highlight the unnecessary section and press Q to cut it. Repeat this process across the track, but don't overdo it. Leave some natural gaps for breathing room to keep it conversational. Now, let's synchronize the video with the audio. For this, listen to the first part of the audio and find a matching animation from the folder we created. Insert the animation into CapCut and place it in the second timeline. Position the animation so it matches the voiceover perfectly. Listen carefully to the result to ensure the lips align with the voiceover. Alternatively, you can use your ear to fine-tune the alignment. Once the embedded voice in the animation matches the audio perfectly and there are no echoes, the result should be good. Repeat this process for all animations with lip syncing. Now let's fill in the gaps. Choose video without lip animation from the folder. Insert them into these gaps in the same way. Trim them to give the video more dynamism. You can also increase their speed by clicking on them and going to the Speed tab in the top right corner. Repeat this step until all gaps are filled. Let's add a professional touch with transitions. To do this, go to Transitions in the top right corner. For this type of video, I recommend choosing transitions from the Overlay section. For example, I'll go with Mix. Reduce its duration in the top right corner to 0.3 seconds. Repeat these steps between all clips. Experiment with other transitions from this section, such as them and now and dissolve. Now, select all clips by right-clicking. Left-click and choose Create Compound Clip. This combines everything into a single clip. Now, remove the embedded voices from the animations by selecting the animation, going to the audio section, and setting the volume to zero. Now, select the music from the folder and add it to the timeline. Also, trim the music at the end of the video. To adjust the music, click on the track and reduce its volume by adjusting the volume slider in the top right corner. As promised, we'll remove the watermark and add some originality to our video. Go to the top right and click on Text. Add default text to the timeline. Enter your channel name and choose the text color. Then, scroll down and click on Background and select the background color. Now, move your channel name to the watermark position. You can also add your channel name in the first 3-5 seconds of your video. You can also experiment with effects. CapCut offers many interesting and free options. Go to the Effects tab, and for example, choose the Television Off effect. Add it at the end of our clip. This adds a unique and professional touch. Now, 
let's make everything even more polished and professional. Choose a filter that fits the mood of your video. For example, drag it onto the timeline and stretch it to cover the entire video. Once added, adjust the filter's intensity, I recommend 50 to 60%, to make it even more engaging. Finally, export your video. If you guys are interested in watching the final video, I will drop it in my telegram, the link is down below. Now, we need to upload the video, configure SEO, and create a thumbnail. And after that, I'll show you the most important step on how to avoid getting banned for such videos. So, don't skip ahead. First, go to your channel and hit the upload button. Then, select your video. While it's uploading, we can create the thumbnail. After analyzing dozens of similar videos, I found that thumbnails like this work best. So, let's create a similar one. Go to Canva to edit the thumbnail. Type YouTube thumbnail in the search bar and create the design project. It will automatically give you the right dimensions. Now, import the image from your video that you like the most. Select the image and click Remove Background. Add another identical image. Click on it. Go to Position, then Layers, and swap their positions. Now, add a text box and type your video title or channel name. Adjust the size and pick the color. I recommend matching the glow's color for a cohesive look. Place the title between the two images so it's behind the girl, but not behind the background. Once that's done, download the thumbnail and upload it to YouTube Studio. Go to VidEQ, my favorite tool for SEO and research. I'll link it in the description. Click on AI Coach, then ask it to generate a list of trending keywords related to try on haul videos on YouTube. Copy the list and paste it into the tags section of your video. This will help YouTube show it to the right audience. While you're at it, Let's tweak the title and video description. Find the most popular video on this topic and copy its title. This will serve as our reference. Now, go to AI Coach, paste the competitor's title and type, generate 10 title variations based on this, using as many keywords as possible. Once you get the list, don't rush to pick one. The key to a great title is sparking curiosity. What will make viewers want to click? Choose the one that creates intrigue and raises a question in their mind. This is crucial for viral videos. Now, let's generate the video description. Simply ask AI Coach. Write a description based on the title, using as many trending keywords as possible in the first 200 characters. Once everything is ready, copy and paste it all into YouTube Studio. Now, hit publish, and your first video is live. And now, the most important step, how to avoid getting banned for such videos. I've read all the YouTube guidelines and analyzed dozens of similar videos. After thorough research, I've uncovered a few essential rules to help you stay safe. The first and most important rule is to ensure that the content you're producing falls under the informational and educational category. This is the key to avoiding bans. For example, if your videos focus on fashion, clothing, or beauty, and you provide tips, advice, or tutorials, YouTube will classify them as educational content. This acts as a safety net since YouTube is less likely to take action against content with clear educational value. However, it's crucial to stay within the boundaries of good taste and professionalism. The second rule follows from the first. The title, description, and tags of your video must fit within the informational and educational category. In other words, avoid using words that might even hint at something else. However, when it comes to the thumbnail, it's important to include a subtle hint, if you know what I mean. And finally, the last tip, one that could 100% get your video banned. You'll find in my telegram, the link is in the video description. Check out the videos on your screen. If you just want to dream about making money, you can leave now. But if you're serious about earning on YouTube, watch them now.